Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Your man, Eric Wilson for the Sports Arena. Yeah, we've got the National, <clears throat> excuse me, Scouting Combine coming up in just a matter of months. And I mean, this year, so much is going on. Uh, you know, if you've seen the previous interviews where I've talked to the CEO, Jimmy, he's talked about the game coming back. But there are a lot of people who helped make this event get the opportunity to make it as just, no pun intended, eventful and exciting as it is. One of those guys definitely bring into the audience into the stage right now. This is my man, Jaron, Jaron, excuse me, Seth Jack. What's going on, man? How are you? Yeah, how are you? Doing well. Listen, man, I appreciate your time. Talk to me just about how you got involved with the National Scouting Combine and what you do as an intern. Well, um, I wanted to kind of propel my career and um, get some experience with a reputable company. So I saw a National Scouting Combine. I looked into the opportunity. I got in touch with uh, Jimmy Kibble. And um, yeah, and it's, the rest is history. So, you know, I'm just hoping that uh, this this uh, opportunity helps me um, with my ultimate goal, which is to become an NFL scout. So, And I think it definitely does because it gives you the chance to really add to your own personal portfolio and resume just some of the work that you've done. So talk to me about your scouting process. When you are looking for that athlete to bring to this event. What are some of the intangibles that you look for? Well, it kind of varies from different, you know, uh, positions, obviously. But I think the number one thing is effort. Um, every play, not taking plays off. Uh, that's, the, that's the main thing I kind of look for. And, uh, you know, what do you do at, if you're not involved in the play? So, for example, if a wide receiver isn't getting the ball in that play, is he blocking? Is he like what kind of effort does he put in when the ball's not going to him as an example for a wide receiver? So. You know, I look for effort a lot. Awesome. So talk to me why your biggest what – what are some of the biggest excitements you have for this year's National Scouting Combine in Indy at the Grand Park Event Center? What are you excited most about? I'm, I'm excited to see these players, uh, you know, perform in person that I've been watching this season. You know, I'm – hundreds of players. I'm, you know, watching film, uh, keeping up with them every week and uh, getting in touch with them through Twitter and emails. Um, I'm excited to see how they perform in person. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for that. All right. So when you're talking to these athletes, can you just kind of briefly tell me what's your message to them as to why they need to attend the National Scouting Combine? Well, we're kind of just presenting them with an opportunity to take their game to the next level. Um, these players, you know, a lot of them think they have what it takes to go to the next level. And uh, the National Scouting Combine is a perfect uh event for them to showcase their skills um we got uh scouts from all across uh various professional football leagues uh olympics so uh it's a perfect opportunity for these athletes to uh show what they have to uh make it to the next level man i really appreciate you for taking your time to do this man i look forward to meeting you in indianapolis again yes sir. january 2023 is right around the corner and i'm excited yeah as my man said if you think you got the stuff, man, show up and show out because the opportunity is just it's on every level. It's the NFL, the CFL, the XFL, the indoor football league. You know, we got USA Rugby, the bobsled team, WWE, NASCAR. I mean, you name it. National Scouting Combine is going to provide you that opportunity. Your man, Eric Wilson for the Sports Arena. I'm going to definitely talk to everybody real soon. Have a great day. We'll talk to you. See you.